I had no idea what I was walking into, you know, and I was only supposed to be here for, for four weeks, actually three weekends, four, sorry, four weekends, and, uh, and then I had to come two weeks earlier uh, to do the Saarbrücken event mm -hmm. on the 1st of March. Yeah. So suddenly I had all this time between the 1st of March and the 22nd um, of March. Yeah. So we then squeezed in France and Holland mm -hmm. and additional presentations and Dresden. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an amazing journey. You know? I met people that I never imagined I would meet. Uh, from potential funders and bankers that want to help support the Ubuntu movement in future, to scientists, to people who want to start the Ubuntu party, you know, mm -hmm. people that run television shows yeah. <laughs> in Switzerland that want to start Ubuntu Switzerland. <laughs> like, yeah. It's crazy. When I arrived, I had no idea that we were actually going to go into the elections. That was, that was not even on the agenda. Uh, there's incredible things happening. The pressure is really building up. Mm -hmm. I'm arriving the day that they start to flight our TV commercials. Oh, okay. Yeah. On the 15th of April. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be very exciting. And our radio commercials and the TV commercials as well. So, huge support growing, um, especially in the youth sector. That is the most exciting thing. Uh, I can gauge it from the emails we're getting from young people and uh, that's that's what I was hoping for that it'll catch on in the youth uh, so because once the youth realize that there is something that they can grab a hold of that's really for their own benefit and their own mm -hmm. future um, I think uh, the writing is going to be on the wall in in the next few months next few oh. years because you know we believe that we're going to get in now more than ever before mm -hmm. But actually carry on doing as much PR as we can. Mm -hmm. we You're going on a city tour maybe? Uh, that's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know until I land. Yeah. But there are also some important um, things I have to do with uh, respect to getting uh, somebody that speaks an African language that represents Ubuntu mm -hmm. so that they can be the voice of Ubuntu on the African language television and radio programs. Mm -hmm. So I've been communicating with somebody that's been very close to us already, but is not really part of the Ubuntu movement uh, officially. And uh, I need to meet with this uh, person. They're very keen to do that. So there's a lot of work to be done. In the last weeks I've been following your, your speeches, your lectures, and uh, I think it's really amazing what you discovered, the stone circles and the energy grids and all, all these ancient sites. Mm, aren't you afraid? that these things could be a little bit over the top for these elections? For example, when we talk about these things in, in our area and people like here on the conference, mm. that people are aware of these things, they're open-minded and they like to hear something about that. Don't you think that this could be uh, <coughs> counterproductive? That, that people think, okay, I'd like your Ubuntu movement, but you start with, with some alien technology energy grids, that's a bit too much, so I don't want to follow that. Yeah. Could you think that could be a little bit of a disadvantage, maybe, when you go too deep into these, these things? You know, yes and no. Because mm -hmm. what it does, it, it, it brings the people into the Ubuntu movement that are open-minded, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because they, they resonate. Uh, what it does is it makes those people that are fearful pay attention and go, what is this guy on about? And, mm -hmm. and uh, so far, we haven't been really... Um, cross-examined about that mm -hmm. there's one email that came through you know like the Ubuntu party was started by some guy that believes that ETs you know created humans as slaves and that's the sort of extent that, of the that, that, that's criticism. That's what I was talking about I thought maybe yeah. that makes you vulnerable you know that, that maybe mm, I don't think so you know my response to anybody who wants to talk about the ETs and the, the, the alien stuff uh, the, the answer to that is Do you want to talk about ETs? We can talk about ETs, but we must talk about ETs, or if you want to talk about the elections and how we're going to help South Africans out of financial misery. What do you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. ETs or how banks are abusing humanity? Okay. Because yep. decide what you want to talk about. If you want to talk about ETs, we can talk about it, but then you must come prepared and well-researched mm -hmm. because this is a serious subject matter. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I normally, when people bring that up, I normally put them straight back. You know, you got to go on the attack if you say, mm -hmm. you know, if you still think we're alone in the universe, you got some serious problems, and I suggest you go and see a psychiatrist and get yourself <laughs> sorted out. And and then when you say something like that to people, they immediately go, "What?" Because <laughs> you know, put them on the defense. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and just make it very clear to them that mm -hmm. there is no self-respecting scientist, astronomer, or researcher that still believes we're alone in the universe. Yeah, so. Yeah. If you still think you're alone in the universe, it's you got your some. Problem. It's your problem. You got some ego <laughs> issues. Go sort them out, and you know you deal with that issue right up front. Don't try and uh, be apologetic about it, as you know. And people expect you to uh -huh. try and be apologetic. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. You go. <laughs> and I also believe in prophecy. I believe in more in prophecy now than I've ever believed in prophecy before in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's a strange. If you told me this ten years ago, I would have told you you're crazy. Yeah. Maybe not ten years ago, but fifteen years ago. And I now believe that, you know, as above, so below, the end days will be the first days, and the first days will be the end days, and he who knows the beginning will know the end, and, you know, all of these uh, amazing stories from the Bible and, and other ancient cultures. And if Africa is the place where humanity was originally created, or where hum humanity came from, then the new age should, by default, start and rise from Africa again and the specific place which is Adam's calendar because at this stage all the research points to that that was a very important place where some sort of genetic ma manipulation took place regarding our species mm -hmm. and the fact that I'm the guy that found it or not found it I'm the guy that figured out that it is an energy site I'm the guy that that has put together the philosophy of Ubuntu contributionism while I'm working on that at the same time, you know, if you think that's a coincidence, then... You still have to have a big problem. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a probability factor that needs to be worked in here, you know, yeah, and what yeah, is the yeah, probability yeah. that yeah. one person would be promoting the philosophy of contributionism Ubuntu and making the same discoveries about the origins of humankind? Mm -hmm. It is just ridiculous. And, okay. uh, you know, I was like... I um, guess, uh, I suppose, I, f I feel blessed that, that it's landed at my feet, mm -hmm. that I was able to recognize it for what it is, and that I've had the life experience with the things that I've done to be able to take that information and do something with it. Because mm -hmm. if I'd been a guy that worked in a bank, or I'd been a guy that, you know, was, had a job for all my life, and I somehow landed in this, I would not have known what to do with all this okay, information. Okay. So I guess somehow I've been guided here. All my life has been a rehearsal mm -hmm. of a variety of things that I've done to bring me to this place so that I, I now can shoot a commercial while we're outside of Munich. <laughs> <laughs> I can write the commercial while in, while in Zurich, Switzerland. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, you see how ridiculous yeah, it, it is. Yeah, yeah. There's like an energetic strand that's been laid. I mean, I wrote the commercial against the banks. In the center. In the center of in Switzerland, Zurich. in Zurich, in yeah. the belly of the beast. Yeah. A commercial that starts, you know, did you know that the South African Reserve Bank is a private company controlled from Switzerland? Yeah. You have a lot of friends uh, here in, in Europe now and you impressed many people so we will see what the European Ubuntu party will yeah. be in the future and uh, it was such a great pleasure to meet you. Really. Well, and, uh, same for me Robbie, thank you for all your support. You've been the backbone of my activities here in oh. Europe. You know, without your support I would not have been able to do many of the things that I did and some of the most important things that I've done was with your support so thank you. You think this is a coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Collect you, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.